all right. Well, hello and welcome, you guys. Freaking welcome and hello. Today is Thursday, which means it's Mother Truckin' Vlog Day. And yeah, I got a full-on action-packed vlog for you guys planned out tonight. All of the timestamps for anybody watching on the replay, all those timestamps are going to be the first pinned comment right underneath this video. My main man, pew, 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 pew. finger guns. My main man, pew, pew, pew. Uh, Jeremy V in the chat, he's going to be collecting those timestamps. They're going to be the first pinned comment right underneath this video. Let me do a real quick checklist and I'll explain why I'm wearing a hoodie and a flannel right now. But uh, we definitely have a beer. Definitely have a great beer tonight. We're going to be talking about uh, you know, a few things that I've been vaping. I do have some mail. I do have some... Uh, Retro vapings, yo, retro vapings, just wait. We got another box. We got another box from the closet. And I also have a very random liquid tasting that I'm gonna need your help to decide. Hi, Megan, I see you there. Appreciate you being here. I also have some very random liquid tasting that uh, I'm gonna need you guys to help me decide which one to taste because I picked three juices or three liquids rather. And I need some help deciding because I don't know which one to do tonight. Um, we're also going to sprinkle in a hefty portion, you know, of news and advocacy, just like a shovel full whoosh, of news and advocacy. We're going to talk to be about we're going to be talking about cancer risks. Yeah. Did you guys know that vaping uh, carries a cancer risk? Uh, yeah, you might be surprised. I was surprised. But don't worry. We're going to talk all about it. You guys, we're going to talk all about it, I guess. I want to take this hoodie off, and so let me explain why I'm wearing a hoodie and a flannel. The hoodie's coming off. Uh, I'm wearing this hoodie. You see this hoodie? Yeah. Grim Army's right there. We added uh, sticker packs to the website. Yeah, sticker packs. In fact, it's everything that's been on my water bottle. Nicotine is not a crime. The Truth Butter, Grim Army... Uh, no, the banana stickers are just for patrons, but we got sticker packs, a few more Grim Army logos and things like that. Um, we're giving away free sticker packs with every hoodie purchase, but you have to use a coupon code. You have to use the coupon code vlog day. It's all uppercase vlog day. Addy Tooney will probably have the link somewhere in the chat, grimgreenmerch.com. It's getting to be hoodie season. You know, it's October. It's getting to be, it's getting to be hoodie time. And, uh, Right now, if you use the code vlog day, you can buy a hoodie and get a, a free sticker pack. If you use the code vlog day, use the coupon code vlog day. The back of the hoodies, it's the big X smoker. It's the big X smoker logo right on the back. I think this is my wife's hoodie. It smells like my wife. I'm pretty sure this is Casey's hoodie. Big X smoker on the back. So yeah, grimgreenmerch.com. I already feel like 12 degrees warmer after taking that hoodie off. Good Lord. But yeah, sticker packs. It's a thing. They're on the website. If you know, it, no pressure. It's hoodie season. Why not grab a new uh, X smoker grim green hoodie? Help, help the man out. Help old Grim out. Really appreciate it. Uh, let's do that thing right now. Uh, that's my new favorite thing, except it's actually not a video this week. Hang on. I got to do a couple of things here because I'm bad at things and I'm worse at other things. Here we go. So this isn't exactly a video, but this was sent to me via email. Uh, Blake and Tracy sent me this email over here and, uh, so check out this image. This is a billboard from my small town in Cartersville, Georgia. The group is called Bad. Bad. B-A-D. Bad. Bartow County Against Drugs. Apparently, they're not using vaping as the verb that it is. Not a single mention of what is being vaped. I saw this yesterday while shopping for a new mod with my wife and my mother-in-law. My mother-in-law is 65 years old and she has been vaping for a year and that pesky smoker's cough has disappeared. She needed a new tank and a new mod, so we took her to get one. Needless to say, this fucking billboard pissed us off. He wrote, past but I'm assuming he meant pissed, <laughs> pissed us off. But if they're putting up billboards in our small town, then obviously the antis are feeling threatened. Much love, Blake and Tracy. And yeah, get a load of the, get a load of this billboard. Only one of these is not a vape. Do you really know? Only one of those is not a vape. Yeah. It's funny because they got celery up there, you see, and celery, 
celery is uh, is not a vape anymore. Uh, vape and case in the chat asking, will they still be around next week? This is a uh, this is while supplies last. We don't have an infinite amount of hoodies nor an infinite amount of sticker packs. Casey and I and our good friend Jules spent all weekend packing sticker packs. I didn't realize how daunting of a task that would be, but when you order thousands of stickers, putting them into little packagings, it's crazy. It's crazy. Kind of dark tonight. Oh, am I kind of dark tonight? Am I looking too dark? Hang on. I shouldn't be too dark. Let me uh, make one little adjustment here. Uh, How's that? Is that better? Is that a little bit better? A little bit nicer? I want to be, you know, I want to be good. I don't want to be too dark, Michelle Lynn. Appreciate that, though. Only one of these is not a vape. Yeah, I mean, that's funny, I guess. Not all of these are a vapes. Some of them are nicotine vapes. One of them looks like a THC vape to me. One of them's definitely a box mod, which uh, youths are not using in any capacity. One of them is a box mod, a Segeli. <laughs> Free advertising for Segeli. One of them is a Segeli with a sub-ohm tank. That's clearly, I mean, there's no evidence that youths have ever, have ever used this. But it's clever because it's a piece of celery, you know? So, I don't know, whatever. Just a little bit of rage sweat to get you going this <laughs> This Thursday afternoon. Thank you, Blake Tracy for Blake and Tracy for sending that over. Um, I am running low on videos, though. To be completely honest, if you guys want to send over a video to be featured on the vlog, it can be literally anything. We all have smartphones. Shout yourself out. Shout your shop out. Shout your iguana out. Shout your pets out. Show off your gear. Talk about your favorite juice. Talk about your new your new RDA RTA that you just got. You can send them on over to me, nick at grimgreen.com. Just mark your subject, that one thing. And I rarely reply to those via keyboard, but chances are, thank you, Michelle. That's better. Thank you, Michelle. Uh, Chances are I'll see the attachment and we'll end up using it, uh, you know, we'll end up using it in the vlog. Uh, This vlog is sponsored by... I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky any time of year. Dun 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 dun. <laughs> I believe I can fly. Uh, Dwayne, that never gets old. I just needed to hydrate. This vlog is actually sponsored by. Yeah, the freaking coldest water bottle. This is this is my savior. You got to stay hydrated, Hydro homies, and this is the honestly the truly and honestly the best water bottle I have ever owned. Get the flip top guy. I'm going to have a link down in the description. You can use the code GRIM. Is it GRIM or GRIM10? I never remember. I'll have a link down in the description where you can actually actually, you know, check out the official sponsor of this vlog. That's right. It's the coldest water bottle, and it's the perfect palette for stickers, and it's the perfect palette for staying fucking hydrated. We are going to be nominating. uh, We need another moderator tonight, you guys. Addie Tooney's vouching for Angela and John Haymaker. All right, I'll consider those. I will be consider those. I, I will I will consider those. But we definitely need one. Addie Tooney, you know, I feel like I had a ton of moderators at one point and then it was just Addie Tooney. And now it's like just Addie Tooney. <laughs> I don't think moder you know, it, I, he might be a little bit overwhelmed and I don't want him to feel overwhelmed, you know? I just don't want him to feel overwhelmed. Um so yeah, now that we're rolling right along in the vlog, I guess there's just a few things that I wanted to mention that I have been vaping. Now this is again, I don't have a bumper for it, but this is active, active, on the desk, on the desk vaping. We'll get to these super chats right after we go over a few things that I've been vaping, but I do have to have this nicotine warning up here and I do have to say the following thing. Some of the products in this video can contain nicotine if the user decides that that's how they want to vape. None of the products featured in today's video natively come with nicotine included. You have to buy it separately and add it yourself depending on how much or how little amounts of nicotine that you want to vape. 
Man, I hate those nicotine warnings. So I have uh, always have three billet boxes, dude. Always. This is Golden Boy. There's a Haku Zeta on the inside of some Peach Among Worlds. Yeah, that uh, that's rocking. This is uh, this is bluegrass. Got that evil alien on the inside with some Ohm Boy punched. Love it. I wish I had a matching like black or silver battery wrap to put in this one because I got those clear doors. Shout out Disco Potato. Yeah, but that's delicious. And I think, honestly, my, my favorite insert for the billet box right now, it's the Boxer V2 inside of Herald with those straight up Supply Co. panels on there. This has that Danny Lolo cherry limeade in it. It just vapes so good. Tastes so freaking good. Now, if we're going to hang out in mouth to lung land for a little bit, I got two of those... Uh, this is the new Caliburn G, you guys. I I, I, I love this. I kind of can't get enough of it. One is filled with sweet black tea. One of them is filled with Moharno. I don't know if Moharno's here. I think he lives in a different part of the world. I don't think he ever catches the replay. But Moharno, one of my patrons, Moharno, he mixed me up some six milligram menthol culotta like filled mango. Stellar. Stellar, still hanging out in mouth to lung land. It's the Nautilus Prime that I'm a little bit let down by, but it's still vaping uh, pretty well. Woo, 12 milligram in there. Um, also, Pioneer mouth to lung RTA with that 1.2 millimeter airflow insert on the Hostur mod. I love this little setup. I've been vaping this one very sparingly though like very very sparingly because what you see in this tank and it's it ain't much in there i don't know if you're going to get a good look at that there is not a lot of liquid left in this tank and this liquid represents the very last of my halo turkish tobacco i can't believe i cranked through the whole bottle already doing just doing mouth to lung you know, I feel like, oh, this this bottle will last forever it turns out that's not the case when you vape liquids they go down. And so I, I have some more bottles of Turkish tobacco on the way. So I'm, I'm vaping this very, I'm not even going to take a toot right now. I, I have sparingly, very sparingly. Drag Max, come on, give me a break. Is there a better product out right now? Uh, Drag Max, mouth to lung tank on it. I like the airy mouth to lung. I, you know, I say this in the video that it's not tight enough because I don't want people to think that it's tight because the majority of people are looking for a tight mouth to lung. I, I'm not 11 milligram or uh, 11 Watts. This is 12 milligram secret liquid. If I don't know if I can even, I don't know if I can mention this. I should have texted today. Ah, oh, that's good. That's freaking delicious. I got this new Vaporesso thing that I'm trying out. Don't even know the name of it. Expro, extro, uh, something. Can't even remember. It's just a pod. It's a little. It's a little AIO pod that's just restricted lung. Butter number three is in it from Super Good. It's good. It's not bad. It's. I'm not the most impressed with it. In fact, I'm not the most impressed. Listen, I'm not the most impressed with some of the new Vaporesso stuff I got. This is the other new Vaporesso thing that I got recently. Oh, you know what it is, Michelle? I think I put another uh, piece of paper on my on my light. This is a new Vaporesso product that's definitely not designed to look like a Geek Vape product in any capacity. This definitely, in my opinion, does not look like the Aegis series of devices, even though it definitely does. Vapes pretty well. I'm just kind of bummed that they uh, had no other original designs other than to go... Well, the Aegis, Aegis stuff's really popular right now. Super good uh, blue pomegranate martini or something is in that. Still hanging on to this from the build stream too. Dude, that Orchid V2 on top of the Jake Scrapwood Custom. This is filled up with that uh, Final Boss Vapes, the Hydra. I love a good restricted mouth to lung. I don't love that the DNA 250C locks on you. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Lastly, lastly, but certainly not leastly, this was the very random liquid tasting, I think, from last week. This is the uh, heavy hitter mech with the titanium OG recoil. 
oat drips on the inside, oat drips. Just been vaping this nonstop for like a solid week. And I was warned about this. Kent told me that this would happen, but look at, get a load of this. Look at what oat drips in the span of a week. What's up, Alex? Welcome, Alex. Welcome, Alex. Welcome, Alex. I don't know why I did that. Uh, listen, look at what this did to my coils over the course of one week. Uh, just that cotton used to be white, white as the Arctic snow. And now it is pure evil and pure evil. That's all it is. This picture is called evil coils because it looks truly coil destroyer, master hyper sniper, not even coil. This is a coil annihilator. But Kent told me that would happen. Kent told me, he's like, you'll be re-wicking every few days. And I said, nonsense. And then turns out I should have been re-wicking. Here's the thing, still vapes pretty good. Still vapes pretty good and still tastes pretty good. Look, I'm not gonna lie. It's not that bad. Should I see how long it goes? Here's the interesting thing. Here's the really interesting thing I've noticed about that is the, the more that your coil gets gunked up like that and the grosser that it looks, I notice that there's like a, a resistance change to it. I notice because I've been using this exclusively on mechs for a while. It was on that, uh, you know, the arc life, the mech life, arcless one. I put it back on the heavy hitter because I've been using the heavy hitter a lot. And I feel like it doesn't hit as hard as it used to. And I'm swapping out batteries going, why isn't this hitting as hard as it used to? I think it's because of the coils. I think it's because of the coils. But it's whatever. Look, it's still vaping great. Still vaping uh, real great. Before we jump into any beer, let's do a couple of these super chats I saw come in here. Wow, wow, wow. Bradley Chase right out of the gate. Uh, finally vlog day. Hope you're doing good. Bradley, I'm doing good. I hope you're doing good. In fact, here's what I need to do right now. Give me a second. Yeah. Yeah, that's better, isn't it? I'm brighter now. Am I brighter now? Yeah, I just, I had stuff over my, uh, anyway, it doesn't much matter. Bradley, hope you're doing good. Uh, Stimson J Cat, 12 year vapor here. Hang on, <laughs> Michelle Lynn. Appreciate your insight, Michelle Lynn. Stimson J Cat, 12 year vapor here, uh, getting home from the hospital with double pneumonia. Don't believe the lies, vaping is safe. Look, I know, I know, I know, Joe, you know. I've seen it. You've seen it. Southern comfort, flannel and a hoodie because Cali pretends to be warm in sunshine state, but it just ain't Florida. It was 90 degrees here today. Doug, stellar vapor. That's right. Eternally shouting out Doug at stellar vapor. Look, here's the thing. It's warm even in this flannel right now. It was, it was like 90 degrees today here too. I just have the air conditioning cranked up. And I had to advertise the flannel, you know, because or the hoodie, because you know we're having we're having the big sale or the big giveaway, GrimGreenMerchStore.com sticker packs. So I had to, you know, fit it in. I had to shoehorn it into the vlog. So I figured I'll just I'll just wear both. <laughs> Light Bear, just because you are you. Thanks for Light Bear. Thank you. That, that's very too kind of you. I appreciate that, man. You never let me down, Light Bear. Southern Comfort. Addy Tooney should have vouched for me. Southern Comfort, can you be trusted as a moderator? I don't know. I think we're going to do... I, I think John Haymaker is high in the running right now for moderator. But we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Blake, very gracious of you. Saturday is my wife Tracy's birthday. She'd go crazy if you sing to her. She'll go crazy? Look, I don't want her to go crazy. If you said she'll be really, really stoked, maybe, or she'll be really, really happy, it'll put a big smile on her face... Then we can sing to her. I don't want her going crazy, unless of course you don't. You just mean that figuratively, figuratively crazy. Happy birthday to Tracy! Happy birthday to Tracy! 
Happy birthday to Tracy. Oh. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Tracy. I hope you have I hope you have a spectacular Saturday. Uh Mikkel, M- Michael, Mikhail, have you tried Banana Moon Pie uh, by Juice My Way? It's fantastic. I haven't yet. That's the one I think I'm going to get into first. Uh, Blake, Juice My Way, sent me some some of his liquid. Banana Pie or the Banana Moon Pie is something I'm definitely going to get into. Eifer, hey, Nick, how you doing, brother? Chilling, bro. We vlogging. You know how we do. Appreciate you being here, Eifer. Gabe, very gracious of you. Shout out to Grim Green, number one in the North Pole. Fuck yeah. Nor- Wait, are you in the North Pole, Gabe Claus? Gabe Claus is from the North Pole. I like that. That's uh, I like that that's Santa's... Who? What's the relation, Gabe? What's your relation to the great Nicholas? You know, the great St. Nicholas. Um, Southern Comfort. Trusted? Absolutely not. See, I had a feeling Southern Comfort had a feeling. But what we're going to mess with right now is we are going to mess with some B-E-E-R beer. beer tonight i teased it on instagram modern times like two of my favorite breweries literally of all time uh collaborated on a beer modern times and stone both southern california breweries both have wonderful beers in their own you know respective lineups but they teamed up wizards and gargoyles with this you know this amazing sort of eight bit digital, you know, picture on here. How could I not buy this? How could I, how could I possibly, how could I possibly pass this up? Let's check real quickly and see what the ABV is. 7%. That should be fine. Yeah. 7%. This is an IPA brewed with coffee. They call it a hazy coffee IPA, which look, that sounds weird. You know, that it just sounds weird. You associate IPAs with being that like, you know, that like hoppy sort of like mouth puckering saliva generating beer. And then you think of coffee generally going with like, you know, what's coffee stouts, right? Coffee stout, coffee porter, like thicker syrupier, syrupier, syrupier beers, syrupier beers. I don't know. It works. Look, it just works. I'm going to be pouring this into a uh, good old fashioned, uh, you know, Grim Army pint glass. It's not as dark as you'd think. It's not as dark as you'd think having that coffee component to it, but it's like this beautiful, hazy blonde, just, just beautiful, just beautiful. No warnings necessary, YouTube, just freaking beautiful. So uh, cheers. Here's to you guys. I hope you got something to, I hope you got something to drink next to you. Mm. Mm. This beer kind of hits you sideways at first. I think it's delicious, but what you get right out of the gate is like this very strong, really juicy, sweet IPA. It's like a juicy, sweet, hoppy IPA. And the finish is where all of the coffee just kind of explodes from. It's like hiding on your palate when you're drinking it until the drink down. And then it's suddenly you're filled with like this coffee flavor and aroma. It's a trip. It's really, really bizarre. This is the first coffee based, you know, like coffee IPA that I've ever had. Pardon me. Burp life. Modern times. Freaking stone. Uh, They did it. And they, and they did it, they did it real well, real well. In fact, this might pair with some oat drips. Okay. We're going to pair the modern times wizards and gargoyles with oat drips. Oh yeah. Get some. That's actually not too bad. The oat drips is a little bit on the sweet side. I need something like, let's try. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll just try the tobacco. I'll try my Turkish tobacco. I'll take like one little toot of Turkish tobacco so that it doesn't, you know, so I still have some left. Fuck. 
flawless, flawless, flawless. That is a that is a spectacular beer pairing. That Turkish tobacco just pairs with everything. Would pair perfect with that Yogi Java granola. God damn, that's a good idea. I wish I had that set up in something. Always, no matter how many setups I have going, I always it's always like I just want more. One more, one or one or two more won't really hurt, right? Maybe with this one, there's a, this is a 12 milligram banana type flavor. Yeah, okay. That's not bad. It's not bad. It's not terrible. Over there on the Beer Advocate, this has a pretty good rating. Uh, it says it's not just the same hometown that unites stone brewing in modern times in this increasing, unincreasing unceasing drive to create innovative and challenging convention. Okay. I don't need to read this whole thing. It's like a, it's like a sales pitch. Yeah. Both San Diego craft beer trailblazers. Uh, yeah, that doesn't really describe this at all. Let's see what one of these reviewers said. Oh, you didn't like it. You rated it at a two out of five. Oh, the flavor is sweet vanilla lactose and roasted coffee with a fruity hop finish that has some medium bitterness. The mouthfeel is medium to full bodied. Overall, it reminds me of some white stouts. Interesting, but odd. Just an odd mix of flavors. Yeah, it is. It's it's an odd mix of flavors. I like odd mixes of flavors. I think a coffee IPA uh, definitely works. Oh, it's so good. It's good. I have three more of these and I'm really looking forward to polishing these off. So now that I got a beer open to refresh me throughout the vlog, now that we've talked about what I've been vaping, I don't know. What do you want to do right now? What do you want to do right now? In fact, okay, here's what we're going to do. We're just going to do some news, some real quick news and advocacy just because I got it all up here on the screen. Let's do the damn thing. News and advocacy, yeah. News and advocacy, yeah. That's me singing, by the way. Not sure if you knew that or not. Um, so I'm gonna just going to throw a few things out there. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> oh, Michelle Lynn, thank you. <laughs> thank you for the clarification on who Gabe Claus is. I'm just going to throw a few things out there. Uh, you know, I love the news and advocacy, but it seems to take up like 80% of the vlog and I don't like it to take up 80% of the vlog because there's so much stuff I want to get to. In fact, I don't even have a record picked out for the getting to know Grim Green. It's going to be random. I'm just going to go look and see what I have and just randomly pull out a record, a very random record, record ta tasting uh, for anybody that's more interested in the news and advocacy stuff, every Tuesday, I do the Tuesday Bro Tuesday stream that's literally just nonstop, asses to elbows, just news and advocacy like crazy. We've had some really great guests on recently, covering a lot of stuff out there. But uh, right now, we're going to try to keep this... Oh. I'm not going to succeed. I'm going to fail. I already know I'm going to fail. Kasa. Still an, all, still an active call to action to protect the vape mail. If you get vape mail and you care about keeping your vape mail, you need to do this call to action. That's just, that's, that's all there is to it. We're rejecting S1253. This has not been voted on yet, but is obviously expected to get voted on soon. I'll have a link in the description to where you can follow this call to action. You can track this on govtrack.org. According to GovTrack, it's only got a 42% chance of passing. And to me, look, I'm not some political analyst guy, but that doesn't seem like a very high chance. That's less than 50-50 odds, you know? That's less than a coin toss. The odds are stacked a little bit in our favor. So I feel like if we keep doing this call to action and we keep calling, then we could actually, uh, actually stop S1253, which would be fantastic. Going to throw this out there as always. It's the Veritas cohort study. If you have smoked less than a thousand cigarettes total, you can be a part of this study. This is a, you can be part of a huge, huge study uh, that hopefully will happen. Uh, I think this is going to be a fantastic study and I'm just trying to get as many people to sign up as possible. Uh, one more thing I'm going to throw out there. Uh, this organization, I got two organizations here that I wanted to kind of pimp out as it were. One of them is Voices for Vape. Now, Voices for Vape is part of Kothra, the 
Why can't I ever remember? Why can't I ever rem remember this anagram? Oh, CAFRA, C A P H R A stands for the consumer or no the hang on. What a uh, coalition of Asia Asia Pacific Harm Reduction Associates, something like that. <laughs> Voices for Vape is part of that. And Voices for Vape had an incredible webinar uh, on September 26th that it's incredible. If you have the means to watch it, I'll post a link down in the description. It's a little over three hours long, so it's a long haul. But the information in this webinar is just spectacular. Just spectacular. Uh, I would highly encourage anybody, if you have an extra three hours in the day, because why not? Because sure, who everybody has an extra three hours, three and a half hours to just sit and watch a tobacco harm reduction webinar. You might as well. <laughs> what Seriously, what else you got going on? Nothing? That's why. Right. But uh, I wanted to promote them, pimp them out on here because they're doing a lot of good. They also have a petition. Um, and I'm going to post a link to this in the description as well, but it says here that we're asking everyone for help in signing a petition that will be presented to the World Health Organization, asking them to recommend to their member countries that they immediately work on introducing sensible legislation to legalize and regulate vaping as part of their obligation to tobacco harm reduction, which is a basic human right that many governments currently prohibit. So in fact, I'll put this in the chat like right meow. I'll also have a link down in the description. I don't know if this is limited to people in the Asia Pacific region, but I feel like it's not because I did it and you can put in the United States before you sign the petition. So jump over there, go ahead and sign that petition. And there's another organization here that I wanted to pimp out as well. Someone had hit me up and asked about like, how much does it cost? Like if we wanted to advertise on your vlog, like, how much would that cost? And so I'm thinking, okay, well, you, you know, it's a lot of different factors and this, that, and the other, you know, who do you represent? And he says, oh, we're the World Vapors Alliance. And I'm like, I'm not gonna, what are you crazy? I'm not gonna charge the World Vapors Alliance to advertise on my YouTube. Any advocacy organization gets free pro bono advertising anytime, any video whatever free world vapors alliance i already follow i've already followed them on twitter for a very long time world vapors alliance is a great organization that you should definitely get involved in definitely get involved in it says the world vapors alliance amplifies the voice of passionate vapors around the world and empowers them to make a difference for their communities our alliance includes groups representing vapors our partners as well as individual vapors from around the world and yeah it is a global thing. They have the, you know, members from Tobacco Harm Reduction Uganda, uh, Tobacco Harm Reduction Congo, uh, Tobacco Harm Reduction Nigeria. They have the Chilean Vape Association, the, uh, what is that, Costa Rican uh, Vape Association, Colombia, uh, Brazil. They have legalized vaping Australia as well, Tobacco Harm Reduction Kenya as well. Huge worldwide global global advocacy group. Global global advocacy group. Their main, you know, their message is ensure the voice of vapors is heard around the world, combat misinformation about vaping, and ensure that regulations, global, regional, and national, are drafted with vapors best interests at heart. And see that last part is really, really important to me because there are lots of groups out there, okay? Lots of them. Some of them represent vapors. Some of them represent the industry. Be sure that you as a consumer are part of a consumer organization because consumer organizations are going to look after the best interests of you, the vapor, the consumer, you know, and VTA. I love VTA. Love Tony Abood over there at VTA. Vapor Technology Association is an industry organization, so it's going to look out for the not necessarily the best interests of you, the consumer, but the best interests of the industry, which might look very different from what you, the consumer, may or may not need. Just wanted to put that out there. Period. End of sentence. Vapor's best interests at heart. So yeah. World Vapors Alliance, great organization. Now, uh, had a little bit of news out of the Netherlands. Anybody, in the, where's Hooked on Funk? Is Hooked on Funk here? 
Is Hooked on Funk in the house? So there is a flavor ban. Okay, the shirt the shirt has to go. Sorry, the chainsaw, but you got to go. At least get unbuttoned, you know? Good Lord. I'm, I'm working up some truth butter. I'm working up some rage sweat here. Had some news out of the Netherlands. Now, the Netherlands has been working on a flavor ban for a while, and some news outlet falsely reported that the flavor ban in the Netherlands had been postponed indefinitely. That's what they say, indefinitely. Well, unfortunately, that's not quite the case because this is the correction that they posted that says the original version of this article stated that the EU commission believes that the planned Danish ban on e-cigarettes with flavors is in violation of the tobacco directive. This is why the Minister of Health has decided to postpone it indefinitely. This is not correct. The Ministry of Health has subsequently stated that it considers that e-cigarettes are not covered by the commission's opinion. The ministry is therefore continuing to work to ban e-cigarettes with flavors as of April 1st, 2021. At the same time, the ministry considers that the commission's opinion covers the planned ban on hookah tobacco and flavored chewing tobacco, which is therefore postponed indefinitely. Apologies for the error. So, Harmful products, you know, tobacco and flavored chewing tobacco, the ban on those is postponed. But the ban on flavored e-cigarettes or far less harmful vapor products, nope, that's still on track. Got to put, got to jam that through. Still on track for April 1st, 2021. I'll, I'll have updates, I guess, as this story develops. But the Netherlands is one of those, you know, I've kind of been keeping my eye on along with, you know, along with, uh, along with places like Australia, along with obviously the United States and, uh, and the such as what's this. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, here we're getting into this. Got a few more things to talk about here in the news and advocacy. Got a few more things to talk about. Thanks for hanging in there. This tweet came to me via the IEVA, which I believe stands for the independent European vapors Alliance. E-I-V-A, Independent European Vapors Alliance. But their tweet said, uh, in a recent study, Network, and the big headline on it, Associations of Flavored E-Cigarette Uptake with Subsequent Smoking, Initiation, and Cessation. So the question that they're asking here is, does the association between vaping uptake and subsequent smoking differ between individuals favoring tobacco versus non-tobacco flavored e-cigarettes. Yeah, really very interesting. This was a big cohort study done with 17,929 participants. This is a longitudinal survey data collection with 17,929 participants. Now, obviously, look, I'm not going to sit here. Yeah, refresh. You need to refresh. I feel like some people might need to refresh. That's fine. Just go ahead and refresh. Sorry about that. Even though it's not my fault, I'm still sorry about it. Obviously, I'm not going to sit here and read this whole gigantic, long, gigantic and long article. But what we're going to do is jump down here to the conclusions. You ready for this? Are you ready for it? This study, adults in this study, adults who begin vaping non-tobacco flavored e-cigarettes were more likely to quit smoking than those who vape tobacco flavors. But yeah, I mean... Hi, welcome to 2020. This study's findings are consistent with concerns about e-cigarettes influence on minors tobacco use and claims that flavored cigarettes help adults smoke who smoke quit. Specifically, evidence that adults who smoke and vape non-tobacco flavors may be more likely to quit smoking than those using tobacco flavored e-cigarettes, suggesting that banning flavors altogether may be too blunt an instrument for the current problem. Although proponents of flavor bans have claimed that tobacco-flavored e-cigarettes are adequate to help individuals who smoke, these results call for evidence to support the claim before it is acted upon. Okay, yeah, paging Jerome Adams, the, sur the freaking Surgeon General of the United States of America who gets over there on Twitter constantly and is saying things like, oh, well, you know, I just don't understand. I don't understand why if you're a smoker, you can't just switch to uh, a tobacco flavored e-cigarette. I mean, you're already smoking a tobacco flavored e-cigarette. You know, why wouldn't you just switch and, and, and switch to uh, tobacco? I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't understand. Well... 
here. I, someone send this to, I'll send this to him. Here, it's much, you, we vape flavors to distance yourself from the smell, the flavor, the taste, the everything of burning combustible tobacco cigarettes. It further distances you from the old bad habit that you used to have. And now we have evidence that shows that if you vape a flavor, you are far, far more likely to quit than if you just vape a freaking tobacco flavor. And then, you know, it's whatever. There's anomalies like me where I really, really, you know, there's some tobacco flavors that I really, really like. So I'll, I'll have those links down in the description as well. Few more things I wanted to cover here because this is good. You wanna talk about cancer? Did that get everybody's attention? Cancer from e-cigarettes? Well, we got some science in you guys. We got some news in on uh, cancer and carcinogens in e-cigarettes. Obviously, since I'm still using one, it can't be that much, right? <laughs> Fellow named Frank posted on Twitter. Uh, he posted uh, this study. Reconfirmed, both cancer and non-cancer risks estimated for heated tobacco products and e-cigarettes highlight the potential of reduced risk for non-combusted products when compared to cigarette smoking. This study compares vapor to cigarette smoking. So Frank is a psych professor of psychology, has a THR researcher, an advocate, traveler, gardener, car lover, dog lover, word lover, and news lover. And then another person named J Juka, J-U-K-K-A. I'm not 100% how to, how to pronounce that. This person's from Finland, but Juka retweeted it and added their little uh, spin on it and said, the relative cancer risk for a lifetime exposure is 0 0.039 for exposure to heated tobacco products compared to cigarettes. The relative cancer risk for a lifetime exposure to the considered closed system electronic cigarettes is 0.009% and 0.014% compared to lifetime exposure of e-cigarettes. Zero, zero point zero zero nine. That's how much your risk of cancer goes up from from baseline, from nothing, from being a completely perfectly healthy person, and you vape for the next your lifetime. In your lifetime, your risk of cancer goes up zero point zero zero nine percent. Well. One of my favorite people on earth, that's how I found this, Michelle Minton tweeted this and said, if e-cigs increase lifetime cancer risk by 0.009%, that means they aren't safer, they are safe based on how we would judge other common behaviors. For example, this would be less risky than a single full body CT scan which increases lifetime cancer death risk by an estimated 0.08%. And she's not just blowing hot air. She's got uh, you know a link to this really long paper about radiation risk from CT scan implications for cancer screening, where yeah, it says one CT scan can raise your risk of cancer by 0.08% and vaping for a lifetime will increase your risk of cancer to 0.009%, which means that vaping your entire life is less harmful than getting one full body CT scan. W yeah, really, not even joking, not even joking. And hang on, because this is gonna be a thrill ride. You're gonna be on the edge of your seats when you read the name of this, <laughs> when you read the name of this cancer study, because it is called brrr, cancer potencies and margin of exposure used for comparative risk assessment of heated tobacco products and electronic cigarette aerosols with cigarette smoke. Didn't I tell you how exciting is this? So listen, I'm obviously not going to read this whole thing, and I'm not even going to read the whole abstract of it. But we are going to focus on. Eh, 
we are going to focus on one little one little portion of it here down at the bottom that I've got highlighted. It says, it appears that mean lifetime cancer risk values were decreased by more than one order of magnitude when comparing heated tobacco products and commercial cigarettes and significantly higher margins of exposure for non-cancer risk was observed for heated tobacco products when compared to commercial cigarettes. The same approach was applied to commercial electronic cigarettes. Similar results were also found for this category of product. So essentially, from what I can understand, what this study did was we don't have a lot of long-term epidemiological data for vaping. So we don't have people that have been vaping for 20, 30, 40 years yet. There's no epidemiological data to to sort of back this up saying, well, your risk is 0.009%. But what they can do is sort of extrapolate from information on the compounds and constituents that cigarette smoke yields, and then the compounds and constituents that aerosol or vapor from a heat not burn product or an electronic cigarette yields, and then compare those two things and extrapolate out over the course of your life, if you were vaping every single day, your risk of cancer goes up to 0.009%. So down here, we're gonna get down here to this conclusion. And again, not gonna read the entire conclusion, but just one little part that, uh, that I have highlighted down here. Uh, it says heated tobacco products, that's HTP, heated tobacco products and electronic cigarettes lead to an appreciable risk reduction in comparison to cigarettes for both cancer and non-cancer diseases. So things like uh, emphysema, things like COPD, gr- I mean, order of magnitude less harmful than cigarettes, which is something that, you know, this isn't, is this news to all of us? No, this is news to literally none of us. Literally, literally none of us. Um, where was I? Uh, appreciable risk, uh, yeah, both cancer and non-cancer causing diseases. According to the current knowledge and more specifically to the data presented here, heated tobacco products and electronic cigarettes might be considered as an applicable risk, reduced risk substitute for cigarettes for legal age smokers who would otherwise continue smoking cigarettes. Boosh, 9,000. This is a huge deal. This is a this is a huge, huge, huge deal, huge, huge study. I will be posting a link down in the description to where you yourself can read cancer potencies and margin of exposure used for comparative risk assessment of heated tobacco products and electronic cigarette aerosols with cigarette smoke. <sighs> Uh, it's a long, really long, boring read. You guys just got the cliff notes, but this is a huge, huge deal. This is finally, people are, I mean, not finally, people have been doing this for a really long time. It's just that nobody reports on it, but finally people are comparing the emissions from a vape to the emissions from fucking cigarette smoke, like the known killer. You see all these things. I mean, American Heart Association, American Lung Association, they all say things like, well, well you know, this leads, to, this is bad for your cardiovascular and it's bad for your heart and it's bad for your lungs and it leads to an increased risk of cancer. And they're not wrong, but it leads to an increase of an immeasurable amount of fraction of a fraction of a fraction of amount that cigarette smoke, which is perfectly legal and available in every convenience store and grocery store across the nation, still perfectly legal and allowed, what that causes, fractions. Fractions, you guys. Fractions. So let's get this study out there. I don't know, post it on Twitter. Maybe I'll try to put together like some sort of little infograph or something like that. Maybe we can get Danielle Jones on like an infograph or something like that to uh, to show to show how little damage that they, and you know this is one of those things where uh, you know again big big organizations World Health Organization American Lung Association American Heart Association they get on Twitter and they're talking about oh well you know we're trying to protect the kids from the harms of vaping and all I ever ask is what harms what harms show me the harms. Show me any harms 
from vaping and don't tell me that nicotine is brain poison because there's literally no evidence to show that. Don't tell me that nicotine changes adolescent kids' brains. No, there's actually no evidence of that. Little, little zero, zero evidence of that. So onward we move. I just thought that was some, uh, some really great news. You are more at risk if you get a full body CT scan than if you vape your entire life. Entire life. Okay, this is it. Last one, I promise. I know. Look, I like news and advocacy. This is what I feel compelled to do. I have to do it. I just have to do it. I have to do it. There's no way around it. I geek out on stuff like this and I'm trying to get you guys as much information as I can. Um, I got one more thing. I promise. I realize it's not fun. You know, it's not sexy. It's not, you know, a a cool squonker or a neat mech or like a cool liquid or anything like that. It's not fun. It's not retro vapes. It's not liquid tasting. It's not fun. I get it. I get it. But it's what I chose to do, damn it. So last thing I wanted to, <laughs> last thing I wanted to mention here in the news and advocacy. Now, if there's any UK people here right now, oh shit, that's what we need to do. I need to turn my Wi-Fi off. That might have been why people needed buffering. That might have been why people needed buffering. Um, last thing, if there's anybody from the UK here, anybody from the UK here? No? All right. I don't know if I'm pronouncing this correctly, but this is from NHS Thameside. Thameside and Glossop? UK, you have, you have interesting names for your towns over there. So this is from the National Health Services of Thameside and Glossop. Is Gl- I want to go to Glossop so bad. Thameside and Glossop. And the tweet that they posted just a few days ago, stopping smoking is... Okay, and now first of all, I want you to notice the difference in approach, the difference in language, the difference in tone, you know, between the United Kingdom's National Health Service and our very own FDA and CDC who are telling you that vaping caused Evoli and that you shouldn't vape and it's related to vaping and vaping is brain poison and vaping, there's a youth vaping epidemic and that's why we're going to have to ban all this stuff for adults. Like, Just look at the difference between the National Health Service that seems to actually care about its citizens and our own, you know, Bloomberg-funded, big pharmaceutical revolving door Federal Food and Drug Administration. It's kind of crazy. Oh, what? My tweet's all messed up. Get back down here, tweet. They tweeted out and said, stopping smoking is difficult, but help is available. From e-cigarettes and nicotine replacement to prescribed medication. Watch this video with Dr. Matt Evison to find out more. For help quit, for help to quit, you can visit youcangm.org, hashtag Stoptober. Stoptober is their big anti-smoking campaign all across Europe, all across the United Kingdom, Stoptober. Last year for Stoptober, it happened around the same time. Like even with Ivali going on, the United Kingdom and Stoptober was still saying, uh, yeah, uh, vape. I mean, no questions asked. That's what you should do. Definitely vape. Miller man, Chris, you, am I saying it right? Is it Thames side? Thames side. Or is it Tam side? I think it's Thames side. Thames side. Thames side. Gloss up. We're going to watch this video real quick with uh, Dr. Matt Evison. And again, just pay attention to the difference between what we get here in the United States as far as the American Heart Association telling you that vaping leads to heart attacks, Stanton Glantz telling you that it leads to cardiovascular disease, the FDA telling you that there's a youth vaping epidemic and that so many youths are vaping that we're going to have to ban these products for adults, even though Scott Gottlieb himself said that these are a perfect off-ramp from combustible tobacco cigarettes could save billions of lives. They still want to ban them. Look at the difference. Look at the difference in tone. Here you go. Let's watch this video. Smoking damages every organ in the body, causes heart attacks, stroke, diabetes, 16 different kinds of cancer. The addictive substance in smoking is nicotine. There are many different ways to tackle this powerful addiction. 
such as nicotine replacement therapy and e-cigarettes. There are also medications that can help a smoker to stop by breaking the addiction to nicotine in the brain. Stop smoking services are there to help people. If a smoker is able to stop for 28 days, they are more likely to stop for good. Stopping smoking is difficult, but there is lots and lots of really effective help. This Stoptober, join the millions who've already stopped smoking and started breathing easier. Yeah, join, join the millions that have stopped smoking and started breathing easier. Uh, huge, huge difference between the United Kingdom and the United States. Um, I'm not sure why it keeps, why it keeps buffering and why it keeps freezing. My internet is, uh, all over the place. There's something fucking wrong with it. And, and I don't know what's wrong with it. It keeps going from green to like, you know, I, I should be getting like a thousand megabits per second download and it drops down to like 200 mega. Literally 30 seconds ago. No, no, it's. It's still super fucked. Mega fucked. I'm going to just keep going and see what I can do. I don't know what I can do. Let me, tr let me turn my Wi-Fi back on. Maybe, maybe that will help. I thought that was leading to the lagging. But apparently, I don't know. Maybe that'll help. Sorry. Hang on. I don't mean to keep freezing. I apologize. Just dealing with a fucking dangle clack. Yeah, see, my download speeds are pathetic right now. Turn everything off of Wi-Fi. Where's my phone? Wi-Fi off. Turn Wi-Fi off of everything. Save my bandwidth. Yeah, I can only get like 40 megabits per, up, per second upload, and it keeps... All right, I'm just going to keep going, and if it keeps dangle clacking, then I'm just going to apologize every single time. No, it doesn't. That's bad. I'm just going to keep going. I'm going to try to take a screenshot of this. Yep. Okay. Something's fucked with our Wi-Fi, damn it. Anyway, that's the news and advocacy. Like I said, I'll have links all over the place down in the description to where you can check out everything literally everything that I talked about. But uh, now that we're here, before we open some mail, let's do a couple more of these super chats. Oh, the super chat bumper already went. Oh, I did it. Wow. Okay. Dang. I did, pff, Super chat bumper when I'm preoccupied with something else. Good Lord. Mike Williams, very gracious of you. I actually picked up the original Cali Burn and so far love it for when I'm out and about. Currently vaping 35 milligram Nick Salt. I'm going to have to go lower or go back to traditional. Look, Mike, that's the thing. It's up to you, bro. Whatever you want to vape, that's what you vape. Whatever you want to vape. Uh. Glad you got a Cali Burn. They're amazing. The new Cali Burn G, look. I'm still using it. I'm still spending time with it, but for all accounts, for all intents and purposes, it's kind of amazing. Uh, Joe, very gracious of you. Hey, Nick, my birthday was yesterday. Could you sing me happy birthday? I also hope the mail I sent you made it in one. <sighs> happy birthday to Joe. I'm going to drink some beer. Happy birthday to Joe. His birthday was yesterday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Joe. Hope you had a good one. Dan, very gracious of you. Who is Blake? Lol, uh, I'm sure you meant me. Yeah, it, I did. What? Did I call you Blake, Dan? Well, I'm never going to hear the end of that. Uh, but it was so dope to see you. Actual fan uh, of my juice. Pop in and shout, what? But that was so dope to see in act. Punctuation, Dan. Punctuation. I know you have a limited amount of characters on a super chat. Punctuation, my man. It was so dope to see an actual fan of my juice pop in. Shout out to that guy. Thanks, man. Yeah, absolutely, Dan. My pleasure. Like I said, I'm going to get into that banana moon pie as soon as I possibly can. Eifer, that beer had to be inspired by ghosts and goblins, right? I feel like it had to be. It's called Wizards and Gargoyles. I don't know. There were gargoyles in that game, wasn't there? Ghosts and Goblins? I think there was I think there was in that game. That was a really hard game. You're talking about the Super NES game? 
Bradley Chase, that's very gracious of you. I would like to know why you bought The Chronic. Doesn't seem up your alley, but you say you buy your favorites on vinyl. Stay beautiful. Look, yes, we can talk about The Chronic if you want to. We we definitely can. I would love to talk about The Chronic. Um, I'd love to talk about The Chronic. I would love to. I See, the thing is, Dr. Dre isn't on Spotify, so I can't add any tracks from The Chronic to the Getting to Know Grim Green playlist. That's the only reason I haven't talked about it yet, Bradley. But we'll get there. Maybe we'll do that tonight. Dakota, very gracious of you. Listen to ACDC's new song? Yes. In fact, <laughs> it was Casey Pickle. We were on our morning walk. We go on a walk every single morning all around our neighborhood with Nico, you know, wave to the neighbors and say hi. And, you know, Nico does her dirty dog business all over the place. And so um, as we were walking home, was that today? Was that yesterday? Might have been yesterday. Um, Casey like elbows me. She's like, oh, did you hear the new ACDC song? I'm like, no, I didn't even know that ACD, I thought they were gone. Like I thought they were retired or something. No, they got a new new song. It's awesome. As soon as we got home, we went in her office and listened to the new ACDC song. It's baller. It's baller, legit baller. Uh, I really like it. And you know, look, I've said the same thing. ACDC has been writing the same song since the seventies and it is good. They know how to do it. Just four on the floor, rock and roll. And it's really good. Trey, very gracious of you. What up, Nick? I'm so happy it's blog day. I just ordered my stickers. Super excited for them. Hey, what did, what about getting to know Grim Green movies? <gasps> oh, yeah, that could be a thing. That could be a thing. I just really like the playlist and I like adding things to the playlist and have it be like a thing, you know, that you can always go back to and that that's like the collection, you know? There's not much I can do around movies other than make a list, be like, these are Grim Green's top, you know, 50, gotta watch them movies. We'll see. SVK, very gracious of you. If you can give a shout out to my wife, Debbie, she is rock and my world. And to Mr. Jeremy V and to everyone in chat, you're such a wonderful group of people. Fuck yeah, SVK vapes. And also I can't find what mod, I can't find what mod for that new tank that's coming out can you make a suggestion love what you do is always boosh also i can't find what mod for that new tank that's coming out what mod for that new tank that's coming out uh what i'm sorry svk i don't know what you're talking about (laughs) i'm sorry and also can't find what mod for that new tank that's coming out can you make a suggestion Love what you, I love. Thank you. I love that you love what I do. Might need some clarification there, SV Capes, on that mod for that new tank that's coming out. On what mod for that new tank that's coming out? If you're talking about my new tank, you just need a single 18650 banger. That's where it's really going to shine. That's where it's really going to shine. Southern Comfort, write him, use. Write him, use my whiskey flavored analogy. Yo, yeah, look, I've used that whiskey flavored analogy at least a quadrillion times, at least a billion different times. And, you know, I've tried to get it to Jerome Adams. You know, you can only, you can only be so loud. And unfortunately, in this day and age, it's the war of the loud and whoever's louder gets the airtime. And no matter how factual or correct you are, just got to be loud. I'm trying to be loud. I'm trying to be loud, Southern Comfort. Eifer, very gracious of you. I believe Yuka would be pronounced Yuka from Finland. Yuka? That actually makes a lot of sense, Eifer. Yuka. Appreciate that. Rising Phoenix. I'm 56 and had bronchitis every year since a child. That is until nine years ago when I started vaping. Not a set, not a set single back from bronchitis since. Not a set single back from bronchitis since. I How do I even translate that? Rising, <laughs> Rising Phoenix. Not a set single back from bronchitis since. Not a single setback from bronchitis since. Was that it? Could that be the correct, correct way to go? Not 100% sure there. But congratulations, dude. Yeah. And look, when when people tell me, you know, I get a lot of when people tell me, Oh, I used to have COPD. I used to have asthma. I used to have bronchitis. I used to get chronic bronchitis. Ever since I switched to vaping, that stopped happening. That stopped happening. That stopped happening. That stopped happening. And I go, yeah, I know. Like, I know. I mean, that's awesome. I fucking, it's amazing, right? 
Like, that's what I want to tell everybody. Like, how amazing is this? How amazing is this? How amazing is this? Reverses COPD, bro. Reverses it. Steve, I'm going to sneeze. I'm going to sneeze, Steve. Hang on. Now back to you, Steve. Nothing like some banana moon pie to enhance the vlog day experience. Yo, yo, from Rochester, New York. Nick, and a shout out to my doy, my boy, my doy, <laughs> my boy, Dan Baker, hashtag juice my way. Uh, there you go. There's a burp for you, Dan Baker. Of course we can shout out Dan Baker. Dan Baker's in with the super chat here. Sorry, brother. What I meant was it was awesome to see an actual fan of my juice pop in and purchase a super chat just to say he loves the moon pie. Steve, and he just did it again. Steve just did it again. Damn. Okay, that's a pretty glowing review for the banana moon pie. I, I'm going to have to just dig into it. Southern Comfort, be demons, scream loud like Soko is. Be demons, scream loud like Soko is. Third person. Whoa. I don't even know what that means. I don't even know. Oh, an atheist bless you to you. <laughs> an atheist bless you to you. Thank you, Southern Comfort. I appreciate that. Uh, you know, th- we do the Jerry Seinfeld thing, you know, on Seinfeld when he says, uh, well, you shouldn't say bless you when someone sneezes. If you want to make them feel better, you should tell them that they're good looking. So when we sneeze around here, we go, you are so good looking. And that's our atheist way of saying bless you. Or you can just say, bless you. I don't know. I wouldn't be offended if you just said, bless you. <laughs> wow, the internet is really fucked. I am, uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that my internet is so fucked right now. Is everything off? I mean, I've never had the, I haven't had this issue with the internet in so long. God, it's infuriating. All right, well, we're going to move right along and let's do uh, some hydro homies. I love water. I'm glad that I love water so much. It makes it easy to stay hydrated. Hydro homies. (laughs) Uh, Yes. Hang on, I'm texting my wife. Sorry. Might just be your computer. My Zoom was totally fine. Router has any zero indication of problems. Yeah, I'm assuming it's my computer. I'm assuming it's OBS. That's honestly what I'm bl- blaming this on. It just keeps going up and down and up and down and up and down. It's like 800 megabits per second, 60 megabits, 800 megabits per second, 40 megabits, 800 megabits, 30 megabits per 800 megabits or 30 megabits, 800 megabits, 30 meg. Like I can just see it happening like constantly. Now it's dropping, dropping, rising, 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 dropping, 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 rising, rising, dropping, dropping, rising, rising, dropping, 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 rising, 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 dropping, dropping. Oh, slow. Almost dead. 60 megabit. Oh, back up to two. Back up to one. Thousand. Now it's high again. Oh, now it's low back low. Low, 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 low. Yeah, I don't know. It's fucked. It's fucked. Who cares? Who cares? Sorry. Sorry if you see stuttering on this stream. I don't know. Yo, you just restart my computer real quick. Yeah, sure. Easy enough. I'll just restart it. I could try restarting OBS, but that's fucking stupid. General stream. Yeah, everything should be fine. Yep. Can I turn my bit rate up? Will that help? Okay, let's try that. No, that made things worse. I don't know. Yeah, I know. I know you care about me, Pickle, but that doesn't help the internet at all. It's crazy. I've never seen this before. OBS gives you this little like 
bar at the bottom that's like green and it shows you your kilobyte, kilobytes per second and it just keeps going green, red, green, red, green, red, green, red. I've never seen anything like it before. It's nonstop. It's been a nonstop loop since I started the vlog. Green, red, green, red. I'm assuming it's, I'm assuming it's, uh, I'm assuming it's OBS. That's the only thing I can think of. It's infuriating is what it is. Yeah, general, I mean, there's no other settings I can even do in here. Yeah, that's it. Oh, fuck it. Fuck it. Who cares? Let's do it live. Let's do some motherfucking vape mail. God damn it. Go. God, it's already 545. We have so much stuff to do still. We got a retro vape. We got a, I can't believe this. I cannot believe this. I spent so much time fucking worrying about my internet. I don't even get to do the fun stuff. As much as I say, I don't want to, I don't want to. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly what's happening, Miller Man Chris. My, my internet connection is having some cannabis cast right now. Some fucking shed time. But I got a box. So you know what? We open the box. Don't know where this is from. Don't know who this is from. What the what? What? Did someone buy me a, a coffee cup? Who bought me a coffee cup? Who bought me a coffee cup? Who bought me a coffee cup? I want answers. Who bought me a coffee cup of Indiana Jones finding Han Solo's frozen in carbonite? Can you even see that? Can I turn this up? Han Solo, it's Indiana Jones with a torch. <laughs> finding Han Solo in carbonite. I love the crap out of this. Who did this come from? That's amazing. Fucking love coffee cups. Who sent that? Was that Frames Janklin? I don't know who sent that, but thank you. I do need hat fan. Ooh, Zach, good call with the hat fan. Hat fan. -na 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 -na. Hat fan. But wait, there's more. I only have a few packages this week, you know, which is fine. I kind of want to pour my beer into this mug, but I don't know how clean this mug is, you know? That is a super rad mug. Are you kidding me? Indiana Jones finding Han Solo frozen in carbonite? Like, that's the most meta coffee cup of all time. Of all time. See, I don't know who, where this came from. This could actually be a vape thing. Oh, what? This is a mech mod. Welcome to the Method Fam. Uh, this is number 20 of a dark side mech mod. It just says, welcome to the method, fam. Ooh, fancy. What? Where did this come from? Method mech mods? Oh, that's all engraved on there. Holy crap. Okay. First of all, exhibit A here. Can you even appreciate this? Can you see this? Can you see what's going on here? It's Vader. It's stormtroopers all over the place. There's a Vader right there on the button. Zoop. Focus now. Look at that. Look at Vader right there, standing proud. And this is a single 21700 mech mod, I'm assuming. It's hard to do with one hand. What the hell? This is amazing. Who who even sent this? Where did this even come from? How do I fire it? How does it how do you work? How do I even open this? <laughs> oh, okay. There it is. There it opens. Okay. How does the switch work on this? I'm fascinated by this. What is that? Oh no. Oh, it's a side fire? Oh my God, it's a side fire. Here, on the side, it's a side fire, and it's, yeah, slide the switch down. 
Slide the switch down right there. All right, well, we're gonna try this like literally right now because why am I not gonna try this right now? <sighs> heavy hitter, heavy hitter, nothing. I'm just kidding. <laughs> heavy hitter still rules, but I just need to try this. Is this a 21700? There's so much uh, space in here. I guess that's to keep the battery away. Oh, it's it's Delrin threads. You got to be careful with Delrin threads on there. Let's see. Let's see how this hits. It's titanium recoil on there. Let's screw this all together. Holy shit. That is a brilliant switch design. I can't believe that. Dang. I mean, dang, that's great. I love this switch. Boosh. Method. Method mech mods, shout out method mech mods. This is super dope. Obviously, I'm gonna spend a lot of time with this before it gets, you know, a full review or anything like that. There's still a little bit of like the Delrin sort of showing at the bottom, and I think that's like supposed to be happening. I think that's like a telescopic uh, <laughs> Wi-Fi enabled vibrator. I think that's like a feature of the mech mod. I love that switch. I'm going to leave this set up. I love that switch method, mech mods. Well, thank you for sending that my way. And some coils. Damn. That's rad as hell. That's rad as hell. All right. What do we got here? Anthony Ramella. Is Anthony Ramella here? Shout out to Anthony Ramella for all the funny photoshops that he does. And shout out to Anthony Ramella for a package of something, some sort. Got repackaged, maybe? Yeah. Oh, what's in here? What are you? Shake and Bake? Shake and Bake Media. Anthony Ramella? What did you say? You sent me a coffee cup? I had a few of these coffee cups made after the response to the picture received on Instagram. I thought you would enjoy it. After I received the mugs, it became clear to me that the picture had a much deeper meaning. I realized that all the people in the picture had a common thread, if not for a little YouTube show that started back in 2009. Many of these people may have never met. The number of vape bans stopped and the countless lives saved in direct response to what you started all those years ago is miraculous. You never sought praise or accolades, but have continued to do great work Wow, this is really, this is hitting me in my feels, Anthony Ramella. Thank you. You have continued to do good work for the sake of good. In my experience, great leaders are people that have no desire to lead, but people follow because their leader's message is honest and true. So, so when you look at this mug, know that every face represents hundreds, if not thousands of grateful men and women that are proud to call themselves part of the grim army. The word disciple nowadays has such a negative connotation, but the truth is, a man with a, a man a few thousand years ago had a message that was controversial and yet people gave up all they had to spread his good news. Your message by many may be called controversial, but will always be proud to call myself your disciple. Sincerely, Anthony Ramella. Fucking A, Anthony Ramella. I love you, man. What let me get a load of this mug here. I can't get this mug out. The mug is stuck. Oh, I see. I see what's going on. Oh, I see. Oh, holy shit. This is the, uh, I like, I honestly, you know, all religious, uh, all religious connotations aside, I do kind of like the blasphemous component of this. Um, I can't name everybody on here. But it's definitely, is that Swaggins? Do I have a cup with Swaggins on it now? It's definitely Logan Exhales. That's definitely me. That's definitely Kent. That is Poon Sauce. Not sure. That's Frames. That 
Could be Swaggins. Who's the... I don't know who... Uh, I don't know who all of these people are, but it's uh, an Anthony Ramella Photoshop. There's old Grim. There's old Grim being blasphemous as the Christ. <laughs> I am the Christ, and I think that's Vapor Swaggins over there. It's definitely Logan Exhales on there. That's definitely Kent on there. Is that Ruby Roo on there? I love this mug. I freaking love this mug. Grim Army for life, Tori. Thank you. That is a really nice letter and a really great mug, Anthony Ramella. That is very, very cool of you, bro. Thank you. I'm going to keep this note, too, of course. Of course I'm going to keep this note. All right. Well, there's another. this is another gift. I feel like this is a T-shirt, but I don't ever remember ordering any T-shirts. So that means something. It means something. I don't know quite what it means. What the crap? <laughs> what? Who got this for me? Who bought this? I want names. I want names as to who bought this for me. The Darth Vader Slayer. Is that what that says? Slayer. Yeah. No, it says Vader. Who got me this? Who got me this shirt? I need names. Vader. It says Vader, but it looks like Slayer. This is my, this is, this is amazing. This is, that's incredible. It says Vader, but it looks like Slayer. Who did this? Who did this? And who did the mug? Who did this? I want answers. Whatever happened to vaping Jesus? Yeah. Vaping Jesus didn't last very long. He used to go to shows because he looked like Jesus and he would take pictures with him and you could take your picture with vaping Jesus. Well, I don't know who did this. Who Someone texted me. Michelle, did you text me? Do you have answers? I think it might be a YouTube issue. I was watching another stream earlier and they were having similar issues. Please don't worry. Your audio is 100% video occasionally glitches, but I swear it's not that bad. Thank you. I mean, thank you. I'm just going to, I was just going to power through anyway, just to see how it goes. Who did this? This is you, Joe. Joe did this. Joe in the super chat says, enjoy the Indiana Jones Han Solo mug and the Vader Slayer t-shirt. I enjoyed picking them out, bro. This is, this is amazing. This is amazing. As a Slayer and a Star Wars fan, this is like my favorite fucking thing. Thank you for this. Thank you for the mug. Anthony Ramella with the mug. And I got a Method Mech Mod as well. Damn. What a great, what a great mail segment, you guys. <sighs> that was fun. OBS put out an update this week. Well... I'm going to have to get it because it's still doing it. Red, green, green, red, green, red, green, red, green, red, green, red. Let's do a couple super chats. That's it. That's all you get. Just, just one, just one second of the super chat. Uh, that's right. We were here with uh, Southern Comfort. SoCo is short for Southern Comfort. The booze company made it up. I didn't. Oh, okay. I ain't never had no SoCo, honestly, Southern Comfort. See, that's another that's another thing. That's just another thing separating us in our lives. I've never had Southern Comfort. SoCo, Southern Comfort. Eifer, yes, I mean the game. Also, why not post a movie list on GrimGreen.com? Oh, that could be a thing. I can make a special page for that. I have an obscure favorite movie collection. My favorite movies are weird. I've talked about them in the in a long time ago on the Old Culture Clouds podcast. My movies, my movie, my movie uh, preferences are bizarre. Uh, Jake, Scrapwood, Grim, you and I are both old enough to remember 56k dial-up. We were kind of spoiled with internet speeds nowadays. Yeah, I remember connecting to AOL. I remember connecting to AOL before I even had a 56k. Like 56k was the fastest you could get, and I had like a 14k modem or something like this, 14 kilobytes per second. And now I'm complaining about 
2,600 kilobytes per second, that that's too slow? Well, damn it, it is. Times have changed, <laughs> Jake Scrapwood. Legacy Vape, what's up, Grim? I love catching lives when I can. Shout out to all the Aussies. Fuck yeah, Australians in here today. Uh, to all my Australians, I had Colin Mendelson on uh, on uh, Tuesday Bro Tuesday a few weeks ago. You should definitely go check it out. Had some good Australian advocacy info in there. Killer Cardigan. Nick, spray some Windex on it. Look, I would if I had Windex, I would. But I don't have Windex, so I can't. But I do want to vape. And Joe, one more time. Bro, thank you so much for the mug. Thank you so much for the t-shirt. Coffee will be in this mug tomorrow. Coffee will be in this mug tomorrow. I'll post it on Instagram. I can't wait. Coffee, give it to me. Thank you, bro. I appreciate that. And I love being the Christ. What are the odds I get two coffee mugs? I have a, a problem with collecting and hoarding coffee mugs. And you guys are not helping that. But that's okay because it doesn't bother me at all. It just bothers my wife. Joe, thank you again. Matching carpet. Thoughts on laser drill during the vlog. <laughs> well, we're going to have to wait on laser drill, aren't we? We're just going to have to wait on laser drill for the vlog. I have to like construct laser drill before I could show laser drill in the vlog. Right now, laser drill is just a, uh, it's just a patron thing. Okay, so what I would like to do, let, I got a box. I got a box here that we're going to go through some of the stuff in it. It's time to retro vape. I was back in time. So what I have for retro vaping is uh, a big box. This just says storage mods on it. And it weighs, I don't know, 30 pounds, 20, 30 pounds, something like that. And I just figure I'll go through here, see what's in here. Some of this stuff, not going to be super exciting. Like this is stuff we've all seen before, you know, like uh, this guy, the Beyond Vape, uh, you know, thingy deal that I don't remember the name of. Single 18650 guy. Used to love the crap out of this. Can't even remember the name right now. We've seen that before. There's another orchid in here that I put a grim green sticker on. We've seen orchids before. Nothing nothing too exciting there. Titan SE. Sure. I had a Titan series. Not, not crazy exciting. We've, we've seen that before. Uh, Michael, or this is the, uh, the Gabriel. I used to, I took this with me to Sweden the second time because I liked this single 18650 mod so much. So, so much. I got an old, uh, hooligan reg unregulated dual 18650. It was basically a Titan, you know, it was basically a Titan, but it was branded hooligan, Sean hooligan over there. Now, Oh, there's an Inakin Oceanus in here, an Oceanus. Oh, that was a good single 18650 regulated mod. Now this, where did this even come from? This came from Ruby Roo as a gift to Casey. This is the Friday morning dual 18650 regulated mod. Look at that. That is, uh, that is pink and flowery. That is pink and and flowery this must have come out shit 2016 2017 maybe something like that i got one it's actually casey has one uh let's see yeah there's a pug in here there's this remember this the tesla invader 2 half mech <laughs> does anybody remember this look at it had these cutouts for your fingers like notches cut into it for your fingers trigger button right here and it was uh dual 18650s on the inside dual 18650 unregulated tesla invader 2 the safest half mechanical wood box mod with a usa mosfet for short circuit protection and reverse battery protection yeah tesla invader 2 still got one Made out of wood. Still got one. Speaking of other wood mods, is anybody familiar with uh, Lazy Vapors? Lazy Creations? This is an old uh, 
dual 18650 that uh, Lazy Vapors made. Can you see the engraving right there? Lazy Vapors, dual 18650. It had a little bit of a squishy switch. I didn't prefer these switches. I like a, a nice clicky, clicky MyTech switch. MyTech switch. Matching carpet, I have a Series Titan. I got a Series Titan right here. You wanna trade me for it? I'll trade you for something for this. I'll sell it to you real cheap. I mean, it's more valuable now, so a few hundred dollars. I got a white V-God Minikin. This is unfortunately broken, which bums me out because uh, I know that this is broken because I tried to use this recently when I got a uh, coil turd and RDA for vaping that was the white on black on white. And I thought, oh fuck, that's gonna look so cool on that white V-God minikin that I have. Totally is broken, does not work anymore. I'm literally just keeping it because I remember vaping it in the UK and it's like all sentimental for me. Oh yeah, the Rev. Remember the Rev tech mods? Does anyone remember these ugly bastards? These were actually kind of cool. They had a pretty cool screen on them. Here, hang on. Let me show you the screen because the screen was honestly kind of dope. Like that's the best thing that these RevTech mods had going for them was the neat screen. Uh, all right. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Okay, come on. Power up screen. What do you mean, basic user, advanced user? Okay, yeah, there you go. It had like this speedometer screen on it that when you fired it, it went across like right across the top. RevTech. If you could get the batteries in and out of it. Yeah, RevTech's in there. Let's see, I'm gonna keep these 18650s around. Oh yeah, Mass Mods. I had a Mass Mods Dual 18650 as well. And this was the one with the switch that only fired when your finger was touching it. If you touched it with anything else like that was non-conductive, it wouldn't fire. That was the locking feature on it. And you had to press it with your thumb or your finger to like, you know, conduct and then it would fire. That was actually a really cool idea. That was not a bad little design there from Mass Mods. It wasn't like crazy inspired, but you know, it was like a Titan, but with a better switch in it. It was like a Titan, but with a better switch in it. Still have uh, an original DripTech uh, Green, DripTech DS. Haven't used this in ages because I just don't like squonking, you know? I just don't squonk anymore. Got a little foot kit in here as well. Got a uh, Smoant Cylon. This has got to be 2017. I used to really like this Smoant Cylon. This was another one that had a cool screen on it. This is another one. At least I think it had a cool screen. Yeah, Smoant. It kind of had a dope screen on it. Looked pretty. Had a nice big like spacey wallpaper back there. I don't know, that's probably too washed out to even see, but I thought it looked cool. I thought it looked cool. Uh, there are some really old mech mods in here too. Here, I'm gonna save that for last. Jabo, what is this? The Wizmech something or other. Don't even remember. Who remembers what this is? Who remembers when all mods were this shape? Dual 18650 button in the front. This had a Door on the back. What is this called? Uh, Wismec. I don't know. I, d I don't even know. Don't even know what that was. Yeah, it's just a flash in the pan. Doesn't even matter anymore. Now these, ooh, this needs to be serviced. This came from Ohms something out of California. It was a stabilized pine cone, single 18650 banger. Um, that wasn't a single 18650. It was a uh, LiPo powered on the inside and I need to send it in to get serviced apparently. But I thought a stabilized pine cone just looked so cool. 
I don't know why people don't stabilize more pine cones. Oh, here's a mech mod. Oh, this is a sub ohm innovations mech. Oh yeah, shit, I remember this thing. I did not like this mech mod at all. That's probably why it ended up in here so quickly. This is the sub ohm innovations something. I don't even remember, but it had a uh, it had a sleeve on it. This stainless steel sleeve, right? Sleeve. Sleeve on the inside as well. And it was this was the bottom. It was just one big weird piece with a threaded top. I did not like this mech mod. And you, to unlock it, you had to twist the bottom off like this, and then that became like the plunger. Yeah, not a great mech. Not a great mech. Sorry, Subum Innovations. Not a great mech. Um, there is an iTaste SVD in here as well. There is a Vigod mech mod. A V-God, remember the remember like the, the lumpy mech mods that they did that had like these lumpy sides on them? It wasn't like completely round. There's a rig. Or is that a roundhouse? I think that's a roundhouse right there. Not a roundhouse. A rig. But I don't remember the name of the rig. Roughneck. There it is. It's the Roughneck mech mod. The Roughneck mech. I really liked that thing. I'm glad I kept it. There's a Kennedy Ruby in here. Kennedy Rubies were great because it was a true, true hybrid. Dang, maybe we should wick this up and try to vape it. No, we can't do that. But the RDA portion of it was literally just machined onto the tube. Right machined onto the tube. That's crazy. I really liked this thing. I took this to Las Vegas uh, multiple times. Multiple times. Oops. Well... I fucked up the switch. It's okay. I can fix it real quick. Yeah, there it goes. All right. Yeah, the Ruby, the Kennedy, Va whoops. Nope, I broke the switch now. Oh, I didn't break it, rather. There it is. Now let's get this back together. There's another copper mech mod in here that I do not recognize. What the hell is this? Mad Dog Mods? Does anybody remember Mad Dog Mods? Because this is not ringing any bells. It's just a mech mod. It's got a really kind of weird looking switch on the bottom. It's like a concave switch on the bottom. Mad Dog Mods. This looks like it's made out of silver. Like, like, like silver silver. This is the one I don't recognize. Oh, this is a... Holy shit, this is my dreamer. This is my all copper dreamer. Look how freaking tarnished that bastard is. Stan, Tenacious TX Vapes, look at this. <laughs> You're not here, that's okay. This is the most tarnished mech mod in the history of tarnished mech mods, but it's a dreamer, like, I can't get rid of it. How could you possibly get rid of that? The Jabo little squonker guy from Wismech? Remember these? I, I really liked this thing for a time, for a while. There was another uh, Segeli Chaos. Remember the Segeli Chaos where you could see the innards of it? Had like that little window. You could see the innards of it. The Penny Mod. Oh, I remember the Penny Mod for sure. I remember the Penny Mod hard. Okay. A few more things I want to show you in here. Um, this was a staple of mine for a really long time. This is another Lazy Vapors box mod that I really, really liked. Dual 18650, really beautifully made. The door, boosh, like that, magnetic, and they were like, like hinges, like cutouts along this side and cutouts along this side that these door, these door panels just fit into so freaking perfectly. Lazy Vapors, man. It's come a long way. Still cool though. Still cool. This is just a Joy Tech single 18650. I could never get rid of this. I remember I took this to San Francisco on a vacation with Casey. I just love, this is the most ergonomic shape of all time. Of all time. This little teardrop shape. I don't know why more mods aren't shaped like this still. Still. 
still shaped like this. That would be amazing. Um, what was the last thing I wanted to show you? Okay, so there's two last things I wanted to show you. Okay, let me put some batteries in this because this is going to be hilarious. 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 We're going to put the uh, twisted messes and Addy Toonie twisted messes on here to make the ugliest looking mod of all time. Oh, yeah. Yes. Does anybody remember this sense? This sense mod? Does anybody remember this? It has the lights on it. So you can do the coolest stuff. I got this at ECC. One, one year, ECC. What was this, 2017? 2017? Uh, that's what vaping's all about. Forget tobacco control, to forget tobacco harm reduction, forget quitting smoking. Lighty up vapor is really where it's at. No, this is not for sale. In fact, I might keep this out just because it's so fucking stupid. Uh, it's a dual 18650 regulated mod. It works fine, but it also has lights on top. Oh. It's just some boots and cats. Boots and cats and boots and cats and boots and cats. I don't know. That's kind of cool. I don't remember how you changed it, though. There was a way to change it. Yeah, let's see. Oh. Lightning. Theme, background, lighting, lighting. Oh, that's right. That was number 15. Let's try number 17. Looks very similar. Yeah, you're right, Scott. It was ridiculous then, and uh, it's ridiculous now. <laughs> Last thing I guess I want to show you guys out of this box. There's nothing else really cool in here. No. There's a there's this. There's like an Inakin guy. An Inakin little guy. There's another little Inakin guy. There's an SVD. Let me start packing these back up in here. This is just storage mods. Like, once in a blue moon, I'll open this box. I'll reminisce about things. Might turn on that sense mod and just goof off with it for a little bit goes back into storage you know just goes back into storage tesla invader i got the drag x in this box that's where this box is headed i'm going to keep that titan on top for whoever was interested about doing the trade but yeah we'll, we'll, we'll discuss we'll discuss a trade so the last thing i wanted to show you so you guys have all seen this this jake scrap wood mod already the imperial awesomeness that i love the crap out of well this i believe is an old jake scrapwood original series box was this series i believe the lag makes it very anticlimactic i'm sorry zach i'm doing the best i can my internet is just nine kinds of fucked and i'm blaming obs I'm blaming OBS. Does anybody know if I kill OBS? Can I just come back and start streaming on the same stream? I don't think so. I don't think I can, right? I don't think I can. We'll wrap this up. Jake Scrapwood. This is one of the early, early mods that you sent me. This is one of the early, early mods you sent me. And that's the goat on there from the goat. From the goat RDA. And I believe this is series, but it has a potentiometer on it. So I'm not 100% sure if it's series or not, but this is old. 
This is old and just old and I love it and I've kept it and I'm gonna to continue to keep it and I'm gonna keep, we have to restart it in under 30 seconds. <gasps> okay, dire thing, that's too much for me. I apologize. Look, we've got like 15 minutes left in this stream. Uh, I'm gonna do a random liquid tasting. I'm gonna do, uh, maybe we'll talk about Dr. Dre if anybody wants to stick around, but uh, there's a box. I've got like 50 more to go through. And the longer that we go through these boxes, the, the, the farther back in time, the farther back in time we're going to go. And I think that's, uh, I think that's just fantastic. I'm not sure if I saw any more super chats come in, but we'll do a couple of them. That's all you get. We're on time. We're on a time crunch here. Oh, it is really laggy. Holy shit. Holy shit. I have to try to restart this, right? Dropped frames. It's telling me it's dropping like 15% of my frames. Frames Janklin. It's dropping 15% of my frames Janklin. Let's, let's turn the frame rate way down. Video bit rate. We'll turn that way down. Is that helping? Is that helping out at all? No. It's my internet. And I wish I could just sit and Google this. Well, welcome to the worst stream ever. Yo, yeah, yeah, Red Falls. Someone tried, people tried to kidnap Whitmer or they plotted to kidnap Whitmer, which was the stupidest move in the history of stupid moves. If you hadn't done that, all she's gonna be seen as, and Jim McDonald pointed this out on Twitter, she's just gonna be seen as the hero now. All you did was make her more popular by threatening to kidnap her, you dumbasses. She was going down, but nope, nope. We had to plan a plot to kidnap Gretchen Whitmer and now she's the hero. Probably will get reelected now. It's infuriating. It's infuriating. Anyway, uh, let's get back onto here. Uh, Legacy Vape Co. spoke with Othra back in July. Caught the live with Colin. Hell yeah, you did. Okay, I appreciate you, Legacy. Um, Mike Williams, very gracious of you. Quit teasing, Nick. My best connection is 512 kilobytes up and 8 megabits down. Want to trade? I do live out in the boondocks, though. I do not want to trade with you, Mike. The problem is we pay for really fucking expensive AT&T fiber internet. And we're supposed to get... 900 to 1,000 megabits per second download and 900 to 1,000 megabits per second upload. And for a long, long time, that's how it was. But for some reason tonight, now we're back down to, it just keeps fluctuating. It just keeps fluctuating. And I don't even have my Wi-Fi on. If I turn my Wi-Fi on, I think it might get even worse because I'm hardwired in. Hardwired to self-destruct. <laughs> Let's try to run a speed test. Oh, oh, 50 down, 60 down, 80 down. I'm getting about 100 megabits per second download speed, which is substantially slower than I've ever gotten. And I should be getting about, oh, oh, ooh. The lowest upload speeds I've had, 20 megabits per second upload right now. Yeah. Just sucks. Just fucking sucks. Fucking pisses me off. Pisses me off. AT&T throttles the speeds? No, Dallas, they do not. They do not throttle the speeds. I get the unfettered access to the internet. I pay money, a lot of money to AT&T to be able to do that. Oh, and at least we're up to 60 megabits per second. Uh, it's infuriating. Completely, completely infuriating, and I'm sorry for the jumpiness, but to you guys that are sticking around through the jumpiness, I appreciate it. Uh, let's do. Let's finish up these super chats here so we can taste a liquid. Yeah, matching carpet. Let's talk on a uh, DM soon about that Titan SE. Absolutely. Joseph, very gracious of you. He's got gizmos and gadgets aplenty. He's got who's it's and what's it's galore. You want a thingamabob? He's got 20. But who cares? No big deal. He wants more. Little Mermaid. Twisted Messes. 
This is for a bottle of Windex. Buy it on Amazon. Uh, you think I'm getting no 250 bottle of Windex on Amazon, Kent Twisted Messes? Is that what you think? Oh, I love water. I'm glad that I love water so much. It makes it easy to stay hydrated. Hydro homies. Appreciate you, Kent. Anthony Ramella. Oh, glad you like the mug. It's Overdrip, Frames, Angry Hippie, Poon Sauce, Kent, Swaggin, Sifu, Logan, Angela Garrity, Tenacious TX Vapes, Vandal, and Addy Tooney. I have a mug with Addy Tooney's picture on it. That's Addy Tooney. It's Addy Tooney right there. Awesome. Thank you again, Anthony Ramella. And lastly, from Jake Scrapwood, it's a PWM series mod, boss man. Yeah. Okay. So the red is a PWM series series box stoked i'm gonna get that back out i'm gonna vape it we're running long you know we're just gonna run long and it's just because i want to taste some liquid that you guys have to help me decide that's it that's all you get it's not enough of a bumper so i got three liquids here <laughs> i got okay let's just do two okay no we got to do three okay so i got two bayoni e-liquids right here and I got one Lago. And the Bayonis are, one of them is strawberry. So the dude from Bayone, he watched my last vlog and he said, I'm sorry that Irish cream tasted like farts. And I'm like, no, no, it's not like it doesn't objectively taste like farts. That's just a weird tasting thing that sometimes I have. It tastes like farts. I don't know. It's not your fault. It's all good. And so he said to try the Java chip cookie or the strawberry. So I have Java chip cookie and I have strawberry, but I also have this one from Lago, okay, that I really wanted to taste that is black currant, raspberry, pear, strawberry, right? Okay, so vote, vote. Just say Lago, strawberry, or cookie. Lago, strawberry, or cookie. Please vote now. Lago, strawberry, cookie. Lago, strawberry, cookie lago strawberry cookie lago for the win oh there's a lot of lagos java kip why not banana moon pie we'll get there eifer lago really lago okay cookie cookie lago 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 holy fucking lagos all right lago damn I didn't think that Lago was going to win by that much of a landslide. Try all three. Try all three. Okay. Lago, I feel like Lago it is. I feel like the overwhelming Lago by a landslide, man. All right. Well, look, strawberry and Java chip cookie will still be here. Zach, cookie, 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 cookie. Oh, cookie, cookie. Cookie's making a comeback. Java chip cookie. Cookie was easier to type. Lago, Lago cookie. That's not a question. Lago. Okay, here's the thing. I think I'm going to go with Lago. Sorry, Bioni. Maybe we'll get to you next week. But we're going to try today the Lago, which is a black currant raspberry pear strawberry. Black currant raspberry pear strawberry on ice. Does anybody else feel like that's way too many like flavor components to this wow hi this voila da Whew. all right so lago it's going in the uh, rye 1.2 RDA. I recently re-wicked this. Actually, by recently, I mean this morning. And by this morning, I mean like maybe three hours ago I re-wicked this. But we're going to be tasting it in the rye version 1.2. I still have that taste in my mouth. Can't get that taste out of my mouth. All right, so this is a 0.22. Let's try this at like 75 watts. Yeah, there it is. There's the vapors happening. There's the shit. There's the shit. There's the vapors happening. So let me take an inaugural toot here. Let me get my airflow to the way that I like it. 
just like that. Put it in front of the coils. Rye 1.2, Lago, black currant, raspberry, pear, strawberry on ice. I feel, I agree with you, Adrian. I feel like this is kind of going to be gross, but let's try it. Okay, since we're already running late and it's 6.28 p.m., we're going to skip Gettings No Grim Green, and I apologize. But the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to sit with this for just a second before we come back and talk about it. So I'm going to kill my mic like this. Okay, so here's the thing. What I'm getting out of this liquid is not much. It tastes like iced sweetness to me. I can't pick out pear or strawberry or black currant or whatever the fuck else is in it. Black currant, raspberry, pear, strawberry. I can't pick out any of these distinct flavors. It just tastes like icy sweetness in my mouth. Borderline like Indonesian punishing icy. It's like that it's like that sapboa that I had that just tastes it was so icy that it gave gives you a headache. That's the that's the level of iciness in this. It needs more wattage. It just it just tastes like hot sweetness, like hot icy sweetness. I should have cookied, man. Damn it, Zach. Why didn't you tell me? Why didn't you tell me, Zach? Why didn't you, t- <laughs> Why didn't you say? Here's the mistake. I'm going to judge Lago pretty hard right now. They would have been better off naming this liquid as like a thing and not trying to put black currant, raspberry, pear, and sweet strawberry on ice on the label. They just could have called it Lago, fucking whatever, palm tree, right? Oh, what's palm tree? Oh, it's like a black currant, raspberry, pear, strawberry. We just call it palm tree. Oh, what do you vape? Lago palm tree? Lago palm tree on ice? I think they would have been better off marketing wise if they just named this a thing instead of trying to cram all this on the label because now I'm looking for all of these flavors and I'm getting actually none of them. Yo, yo to you, the Canthal kid. Yo, yo, yo to the Canthal kid drip the strawberry and see if it gets better. I might do that. In fact, this is over dripped as it is. Let's burn some of this off. Why not? We're running long. Strawberry. It's going on it. Double blind juice tasting. Although there's still a lot of ice on this. It's not going to be fair to the Bione, is it? Like not at all. Yeah, I can taste uh, a lot more strawberry now. 
Well, that's not a good strawberry. Sorry, Bioni. Uh, I don't like that strawberry at all. It tastes very, uh, very bad. Very waxy. Very waxy. Waxy strawberry. Ooh, that's waxy. Ooh, that's a waxy strawberry. Largo, Lago. Here's the thing. And I know British eyes, all labels should have the flavors on them. IMO. No, that's not the way that I disagree with you. I disagree with you. They should, but it, that's not what it should be named. Especially if you have like 18 components in there. Like a good example is uh, the anarchist pink lemonade, right? Anarchist pink lemonade. It's a pink lemonade flavor. They don't list every flavor that goes into it because there's no pink lemonade actually in it. It's a bunch of different flavors that kind of end up tasting like pink lemonade. They could have just called this Icy Breeze, something else, and then maybe smaller on the side, it could have had like a flavor profile of it. Like, imagine black currants floating in a sea of raspberry pears and sweet strawberries, you know. I don't know. That's just me. That's just me. Otherwise, it's just sweet iciness in my mouth. I don't get any specific flavors. I can't taste the pear. I can't taste the black currant. I can't taste the strawberry. It just tastes sweet. Just tastes sweet. Well, there you go, Lago. Another very successful beer. Another successful beer. What? Another very successful liquid tasting. Cheers. All right. Well, we're here at the end of the vlog. This is it. You know, this is the end. You, if you guys want to know about Dr. Dre, you guys want to talk about Dr. Dre real quick, even though we're running late, let's just do it. Let's talk about Dr. Dre real quick. Dr. Dre the Chronic. This is a legendary album, right? Legendary. I am not much of a rap hip hop guy. Getting to know Grim Green, I'm a, I'm a rock guy. I'm like rock and metal and I listen to a lot of like stoner rock and doom and you know, I got records up here. I got earth up there. I'm not a rap guy. I'm just, I, I'm not. And I don't, and I don't get it. And I remember, uh, you know, back in like sixth grade or seventh grade, my friend Kevin, my friend Kevin wore an NWA t-shirt to school. And I thought, look, that's rough. Like that he's a badass. Like Kevin's a badass. I didn't even want to mess with Kevin. He's a badass. He's got an NWA t-shirt on and he wears seventh grade wearing an NWA t-shirt. That was my first exposure to NWA. Didn't, didn't get it. Didn't, didn't enjoy rap. I've never, I've never really enjoyed rap with the exception of in sixth grade, I listened to like hammer, you know, MC hammer, you know, vanilla ice is what I would get into every once in a while. I'd fuck around with some vanilla ice, but that was it. That was the extent of my rap and hip hop. I bought a Queensryche record shortly after that. And it was all downhill. I was like Queensryche, Faith No More, Metallica, Megadeth, you know, metal. And I just jumped down the metal and rock rabbit hole. And I kind of left rap and hip hop behind because it just, you know, Casey and I had a conversation about this a long time ago, talking about how different music will resonate with different people. You know, if you don't like metal, I'm not going to force you to like metal because I get it. It's not for everybody. I'm not going to try to, it's like when people say, what's your favorite band? And I say, Guar, I'm not going to try to get you into Guar. You can't get into Guar, <laughs> you know, you either get it or you don't. I love it, but that doesn't mean that you'll like it. So I'm not going to try to sell you on Guar and hip hop and rap is just one of those things that I didn't really, it didn't, it just didn't resonate with me. It just didn't. When this album came out, when this album came out, there was a, like radio friendly version of uh, nothing but a G thing. G thang. I can't even pronounce it correctly because that's how white I am. Nothing but a G thang. There was like a radio version of it that didn't have all like the bad swear words in it. And me being a super, super Bible thumping Christian at the time, 
I loved it because I didn't, it, what, there no obscenities, right? Not going to hell. I can still get into heaven and listen to nothing but a G thing without the bad words in it. And me and my buddy Andy from church at church camp, we loved this song and we would sing it. And I remember the first time I heard like the uncensored version of nothing but a G thing. It was like, what is how I'm going straight to hell. Like I had to cover my ears. I loved this song, but it was, it hit me at a weird time, you know, and I didn't jump into the Dr. Dre rabbit hole at that time. It wasn't until like 2018, 2018 that Casey and I finally watched that movie straight out of Compton and all of it suddenly made sense. We watched LA 92, the documentary about the 92 LA riots. And we watched straight out of Compton. And I thought, I get it now. I, I get it. I get NWA. I get what they were doing. I get Dr. Dre. I understand this. I understand this now. And so I started listening to the chronic album shortly after that. And I I just went and bought it on vinyl. I thought this is like, you know, in the scope of the world of music and the world of popular culture, this record is like a legendary, standout, amazing record from top to bottom. And I still listen to it really very frequently. I mean, intensely frequently. I have it downloaded on uh, iTunes. And sometimes when I get in my car, it's just the first thing that plays because whatever, alphabetically, I don't know what how that works. It's sometimes it's the first thing that plays. And so I'll just listen to it. So whatever, I'll just listen to it. It's great. If I had to pick two tracks, I couldn't. See, there's some of these, I can't say the N word with a gun. I just can't, that's not, <laughs> the doc, these are all great songs. These are all spectacular songs. I like uh, Fuck With Dre. Obviously, I like nothing but a G thing. I like the day the N words took over. Can't even say it. The N words took over. It's it's a great album. And I think I like to think that Dr. Dre would approve of me just some 40 something white boy metalhead suddenly appreciating the chronic album. Because that's exactly what happened. I just suddenly appreciated this album for what it is. Uh, and I just love it. I, I, I just love it. I can't put any of these songs on the getting no grim green Spotify playlist because as I said, Dr. Dre ain't on Spotify. He's iTunes all the way. And I don't, uh, I don't sign up. I don't, I don't sign up. I don't fuck around with iTunes or nothing like that, but it's great. I have a Dr. Dre air freshener hanging in my car that Eric Vinyl and Vapor sent me, or sent me, bought for me. When we went record shopping, he bought me the little Dr. Dre, little air freshener, and I I still have it in my car. And, you know, just because this album is so, like, California, I, I feel like it's a real California album. I feel like it's a real pivotal, important album, like I said, in the world of music and pop culture. And, you know, over the course of my life, there's been some rap, like some hip hop I got into. Like I, I like a bunch of Eminem stuff. You know, I like, uh, I like some D12 stuff. I'll fuck around with that a little bit, you know, here and there, it's not a genre of music that really resonates with me, but when it does, I like to dive in. I like to dive uh, full in. I have the NWA album as well. In fact, I made it my mission one year I didn't succeed, but I wanted to memorize the entire NWA album straight out of Compton, like memorize the whole thing so that at any point you could play any song at any point and I would know all the words. Didn't quite happen. It's still a goal of mine, I guess. But yeah, I mean, that's the story of me and Dre. That's the story of me and Dr. Dre. It it finally all clicked. I finally got it. I kind of just went, oh, oh, okay, okay, I get it. I get it. I get it. The Chronic is on Spotify. Are you sure? Let me do some of my own reconnaissance. Oh, shit. All right. Uh, Let's put. Oh, shit. Let's put uh, Fuck With Dre on the Getting To Know Grim Green Spotify playlist. I'm going to add it right now. And let's put, it's classic. Let's put G thing on there. Boom. 
We mixing it up a little bit. We're putting Dr. Dre on the Getting to Know Grim Green Spotify playlist that will all be linked down below in the description. But that's it. That's the story of me and Dre. We're homies now. We get along great. Uh, it, it just, it is what it is, you know? It just, uh, it just is what it is. I finally get it. I finally get Dr. Dre and I appreciate it uh, intensely. It's good, it's good shit. It's good shit. And it's, yeah, you know, EDM. It's like, I don't, EDM doesn't really resonate with me. Like, there's a few EDM songs, like from way back in the day, like really old bass nectar stuff, really old Skrillex stuff, really old, what was that one? And the cracks begin to show. You know that song? And the cracks begin to show. I don't even know who does it. And the cracks begin to show. Some EDM stuff I like, but again, it's not a musical genre that resonates with me. So uh, let's go ahead and wrap this up. I don't think there were any more uh, super chats. Uh, Anthony Ramella had one. Uh, Rest in peace, Eddie Van Halen. Yeah, if only he had vaping back in the day. I know, the poor dude died of throat cancer. (sighs) Poor dude died of throat cancer, Anthony Ramella. If only, I mean, right? If only he had vaping. If only I could go back in time and meet Eddie Van Halen and just hand him a Cali burn and be like, here you go. I was never here. <laughs> and then just puff away like the Flash does or something like that. Flux Pavilion. There you go. <laughs> Flux Pavilion. Yeah. While you guys are here, since you made it to Look, the end. Smash that like button. Just punch your computer for me. <laughs> <laughs> That never gets old for me. Oh, that never gets old for me. Anyway, uh, let me make sure I didn't forget it. I don't really, I really don't think I did. No, we're good. We're good to go. I haven't forgotten anything. Um, Thank you so much, everybody, for coming out for another uh, Thursday vlog. It's it's glitchy at best sometimes. I'll get my... uh, I'll get my I'll get my house in order here. Uh, I was going to assign uh, John Haymaker. I didn't see you in the chat for a hot minute, but I'd like to make you a moderator if you're willing to accept, John. Uh, let me know. I don't want all of the burden to keep falling on uh, on Addy Tooney there. All right, John Haymaker, if you're in the chat, show yourself uh, either this time or next time. I'll make you I'll make you an official moderator of the chat, but one more time, you guys, thank you seriously so much for being here. I love that you love the vlog because I love the vlog and uh it's just it's just where we are on Thursdays. Don't forget to keep fighting the good fight. Remember that no matter what anybody what literally what anybody tells you, vaping is way way safer than sm- way safer than smoking. Order of magnitude less harmful than burning deadly combustible tobacco cigarettes. So yeah, you guys, absolutely. Let's keep on vaping. Uh, Be excellent to each other, you guys. Peace out.